morning, 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 morning. This is Uncle the Podcast. Code Red, Code Red, Code Red, here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and have me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Podcast. You are listening to Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew-in-law. Here with me is the star show, Uncle. This is 279, I believe. Uh, I think I think 278, but... No, no, no. Right. No, it's 79. Okay, fair enough. I'm one more from 180. 280. <laughs> okay. So that's why I know. We're live on that's Uncle the Broadcast this Sunday evening from the facilities of Ocelli.com. We're live every Sunday now. But Sunday because of his work. Yeah, yeah, basically that was... Um, that's the point. We're changing days over from Friday night to Sunday nights. Same time, 10, uh, 11 p.m. To US, uh, Eastern, Eastern or 8 p.m. Pacific, which is for yeah. us. Uh, yeah, and the reason was just scheduling. I wasn't able to make it to the Friday shows, but uh, I, I'm liking Sunday. Sunday's been working out. We've been getting it's, lots of live listeners. It's his uh, first uh, on, so that's why we are changing it over. Yes. Because he starts it. Mm -hmm. So switching things up here on Uncle the Broadcast, I think it's going to be for the better. We're still, it's still the same show, just different day, you know, so I'm glad to be back as always. Uncle, you've got a new pair of headphones you're wearing. Yeah. They work out for you? Nice. You like Boy, them? I like these. Yeah. These things are much better than those little. Those things. <laughs> you, you think so? Oh, yeah. Okay. Got to go find some more of these you know, at, at the drift store. That's where we got them, right? We found the them there? Store. Yeah. Yeah. Their store find. Uh, they say, what, Radio Shack Racing? Racing headphones? Something, Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't I don't know if they're meant for, like, being on, like, a pit crew, those ones that you'd wear there. They're sort of noise-canceling. And that's why I was playing around with the sound earlier, Uncle. I had to get a monitor set up so yeah. that you could hear me talk here I've, in the room. I've noticed something else. The whole line is fixed, Chuck, with the white all through the uh, house to the their room. Oh, I'm only you, doing something. Yeah, you got the uh, the Ethernet cable now. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I noticed that. I said, what's this? I'm all through here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I noticed no problems with the signal this week so far at all. So, yeah, that's why. Okay. Yeah, we're back here in Riverside, so no live from Landers, no weird stuff with the... I, I've actually got the Ethernet cord hooked up, so that's maybe that's it, helping us, too. That's it. That's, so that's what I'm we just talking that. about. Mm -hmm. yeah, this white line. It's yeah, oh, that's the white line. Yes, of course, white Uncle. Yes, the white line. Here. Yes, sorry. You're right. We are going to talk about the baseball playoffs. If um, Eddie's on the line, and you can call give in. him this number. Yeah, call in. 319-527-5016 is the call in number. You can come on through Skype. It's Charles charles.ocelli. Send him a, a message. Type him a message. He'll bring you on Skype, Charles Dottocelli, or call 319-527-5016. Uncle, I get the feeling you're getting used to the monitor with the headphones. Is, yeah, is that a little weird for you? You okay? No, I, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Yeah. I don't mind me talking to myself because I'm always <laughs> doing that. But yeah. it's just reflecting back. Yes. You know how it's something it, we. I have to get used to it too because I'm not yeah. really used to it. But uh, yeah. just put it out of your mind. Just uh, don't even listen to yourself. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there, Uncle. Uh, I see Count Pupper is in the YouTube. Count, chat. Count's the one that likes the uh, Philly. 
That was yes. Yeah, he's a fan. He's a fan of them. Yes. Apparently, yeah. I'll tell you, I was happy game one when they came back from a five zero deficit. Uh, we were we were talking about it on Friday night because we were live on my show, and uh, uh, it was pretty wild. They came back well, and won that first one. Oh, really quick, Uncle. Before you get into the game, though, I just want to do my job here and okay. tell you that we got listeners in the Netherlands. Uh, Australia, Spain, and the UK tonight. So there's your foreign listeners. Nobody in Canada. Nobody in Canada tonight, but, uh, and, and they are because of the problems with the website are, are listening oh. probably on their phone, on their phone apps and stuff. But, oh, uh, no. just letting you know worldwide, we're still out there. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, that's on your side. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. website is messed up. That's what yeah, the problem is. That's probably is. why. Yeah. yeah. But but still, we got uh, listeners from all over the world, so you know they they tuned in and uh, know that you're live on Sundays now. So perfect. Well, they know, so they, I'm still waiting on the ladies calling. <laughs> I haven't heard them. Uh, how long? You know what? Was there it? was that lady from Spain that called a couple of months ago, right? Right. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, maybe she's the one in Spain right now who's uh, who's listening. If you are, again, you can reach out to me yeah. on Skype, Charles Ocelli, and uh, you send me a message. I'll bring you in. Aaron, do you remember her name? Uh, it's eluding me now. Unfortunately, no. I can't I feel remember because she called yeah. twice, like two weeks in a row. But I can't recall. Yeah, her. and she, she was on Skype. Which yes, you, she was mm-hmm. on Skype. Yeah. yeah, which you can do for free if you're in a foreign country and you're like, oh, I don't want to call because it's you know going to cost me money. You can call us on Skype and it's free. Just send me yeah, a free. contact request. Yeah. I'll accept it and that way you know we can talk for free as friends on Skype and I'll mm-hmm. bring you into the show. Uh, so no matter where you are on the planet, I can get you on for free if you can use Skype. Uh, yeah. Charles Ocelli is mine again. But anyway, I, I knocked you off track because you were about to talk about the playoffs and uh yeah, that first game the Phillies took it six to five and then last night, well They yeah. predicted I heard that the first team that wins the first one wins the series. Oh yeah, historically that's historically. what happens. Mm. It's usually the team that wins game one goes on to win the whole series. That's well, what you're saying. It was also exactly. it was also historical because I think there hadn't been a team in I don't know sixty years or something. Uh, somebody can correct me on the amount of years that had come back from a five zero deficit in a game one of a World Series until the Dude. Phillies did it, uh, beating mm. them six five, which was pretty interesting. I gotta it say. Was. <laughs> well, we were listening it on the radio. Mm. And I, um, oh yeah, cause we were in Landers. We were in Landers that. that day. It's in the and, internet uh, radio. In the right. internet radio. I would have liked to seen it live on the TV, but to see how they reacted. The, the fans. Yeah. Right. Their fans. Well, no, I was, oh, because they're in Houston. Yeah, yeah they I, I were don't know Houston. what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah but they, they showed you. That. Well, later on, because I was broadcast until 10 p.m. and that that game went into extra innings. So right. later on that night, they showed you what was going on. There's like a a big bar kind of joint that's across the street from uh, the new Philly Stadium, and oh. uh, so they were showing you this huge group of Philly fans like getting excited and happy that first night when they won. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty entertaining. And Philly fans are definitely lively. <laughs> so they're you know. wild. They're, oh, yeah. wild. they're crazy. I- I'd love to be there to hear the heckling that will happen when the Astros oh, uh, enter it, Veterans Stadium. That's gonna be good. It used That's to be cheaper. Tomorrow night, by the way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it, yeah, they're gonna play Game Three on Halloween night, which is pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, but Halloween. Oh, that's true. I, I used to go to Veterans Stadium. Because, oh. uh, to see the Mets, because it was way cheaper to go see the Mets at the Philly Stadium than it was to go to Shea. <laughs> oh. And, uh, nice. so when I would go there, but I'll tell you something, you go in there with your Mets hat on, as I would do, and, uh, they, they, they were not very pleasant to you with your Mets hat on. <laughs> and it didn't matter. Uh, of course, they're, they're not rivalries. Yankees are to them. It doesn't even have to be a rivalry. If you are, uh, at all, well, on no. any other team, you're going to hear about it. No, but especially the Mets because they're you know same division and they would be yeah. playing for playoff spots against each other. But even when they weren't, uh, boy, you go in there with your NY hat on, you know, in in <laughs> Philly Town, and they would they would go nuts on you, man. 
It didn't of matter. Course, that's they're crazy fans in Philly. I told him, told a sidekick <laughs> here. I told him that when we started watching it. Uh, Count Pupper's saying that Philly's fans aren't even pleasant to each other. <laughs> no, apparently. True. Well, no, that's why there there used to be. Now, I don't know about the new stadium, but the old stadium, they used to have a jail. Uh, yeah. there, there's literally a jail uh, in the, <laughs> the old Somebody Veterans Stadium. That. <laughs> that somebody told us that. It was Chuck. It was Chuck. It's true. Yeah, it was you. Yeah. It, was you. Uh, it, it uh, might have been. Somebody. But, yeah, look it up. I'm telling you. It, it was there. I saw it. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and you can bail your friends out after the game if they get locked in there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just saying. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay, okay, let's get those rings calling. All right. Yeah, 319-527-5016 is the call-in number if you want to call. We'd love to have you, as always. Also, Charles Dottercelli on Skype. Send Where's- Chuck a message. It'll bring you on. Where's Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy! He, yeah! He was on in the previous... Oh, wait, he, we're getting a call now. How do so, you know? So, let's... I, I, did you hear the ring, Uncle? No. We got a ring. It's coming in. So, let's let's go to this call here. You got to Got a... Who are you from? And... Uh, who are... Who is this? Jimmy James. Just talking about you, Jimmy. There's your answer, Uncle. Wasn't she Elena? 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 Elena. Elena. Yeah, that's familiar name. That's her. That oh, well, was oh, that her. was the caller. That was her name. That was her yeah. Name. yeah, it was her name. Something like Elena? that. Elena? Elena. You right. Mm, maybe. Jimmy? Maybe. It was something like recall. that. We might have mispronounced it a little or whatever, but it was something. Jimmy James recalling it right because I, I'm pretty yeah. sure that was her name. Even if but, that's a mispronunciation, it was real close to that. So right. it was it was like that, yeah. He got it. I couldn't remember though. Hmm. Okay, okay. Elena. Oh, yeah, Elena, cool. yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's I know. Hopefully like she'll it. call back one uh, week. That was good to talk to her. She's a good um, caller. Yeah, she had a lot yeah. to say. So, yeah. Elena, it, uh, I'm uh, afraid that's not right. But do call do call back in if you get the chance. And anybody who's been thinking about calling for that matter, please do so sometime. We'd uh, love to have you on the show. Yeah. We got Jimmy now. Jimmy, Jimmy, what what are you up to? What are you up to? No, I watched the losing Lions stinking up the field again. Yeah, we we saw. I saw a bit of that game. Uncle, did you watch the entirety of the Dolphins playing the Detroit oh, Lions? Yeah, season? that one. <laughs> yeah, they know they get they win when they get over twenty. I know that team like back of my hand. The Dolphins. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They they got to get twenty or better. If they don't, they lose. Yeah. Well, they won today. Yeah, and again, won. it was against the they Detroit won. Lions. The Detroit Lions because they won't. They won. Sorry won. about your loss there, Jimmy. But yeah, the Detroit. Oh, that was not having the season they hoped they might this year. They're not doing it well. I guess. And that's why right. he's from Detroit, isn't he? Yeah. I forgot. But, uh, They're pretty much having the season I anticipated. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel better, our Rams aren't doing well either. <laughs> our Rams just got beat by the 49ers that beat us twice. Yeah, that's not unusual, but I, yeah. it looked like L.A. could have won in the first half, and then the last half they fell apart. They have Christian McCaffrey now, who's just doing phenomenal. And Cooper Cup went on to get an injury at the end. Yeah, that's it, what it, I Everything heard. was going wrong, so it was not good. Well, I don't think they're going to be there. No. I happening. mean, they've won last year's Super Bowl, and, and it's hard to repeat. They're not going to. That's they're okay. Not, they're that's not. All right. They're not, and it's I'm okay. It. <laughs> but you know I got a prediction of a football playoff. I hate to say this, but it's going to be the Phillies mm-hmm. and Buffalo. I have a feeling. So Philadelphia Eagles, Eagles yeah. versus the Buffalo Bills. Correct. 
Is that how the Super Bowl? Uh, that's AFC NFC. Is that how yeah, that works? I can't it. remember. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Is. it. Yeah. I, I mean, that that. could be who they uh they could um that's okay. who they. That's your Super Bowl prediction. Prediction. They're both I good teams. I had that prediction. The question is who, but that up in the air on my head. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you have any predictions, Jimmy? Jimmy, uh, what Super do you Bowl say? predictions at the be- earlier on in the season here. Oh, what's it in you? I predict that the Detroit Lions will not be in the Super Bowl. Oh, we know that. <laughs> Great prediction, Jimmy. Well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay. What's right. this been their second year? The second year. Second yeah. year of what? He'd been with them. That Jim? Golf, golf. Oh, you're. Golf? Is this the second year for golf? Back, is it? Back, yeah, it is. It is the second. System. Yeah, yeah. It is the second. Yeah, I the just second, think about that. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, or is it third? Because let's see, who won last year? Well, you guys won last year. Yeah, year we won it last year. Brady with. Yeah, with the Buccaneers. That's oh, what yeah. what, was it. The Buccaneers? Yes, oh, that was the year before. Talking about them, they're last in the division now. Yeah. Have to be, have to be last. Yeah, they're not looking too good. I know. Well, but yeah, that's what I said. Well, their division and my division looks like crap. So you know who's, you know title. who's got that division now. Uh, it was Atlanta that's got the top four and four record. Oh, they do. <laughs> that's a four and four record. Can you believe it's a four and four record, and they're leading the division. Yeah, it shows you that's not that, a good division. That don't either. sound right. Four and four division, man. Yeah, it's working out. Working out for that division. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah. Ma- imagine where they would be at. Imagine where they would be at if they were, you know, in the division with the seven and zero Eagles, right? Yeah, oh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a whole lot of nowhere. Yeah, but they're leading their division. Yeah, it's it's yeah. weird this year with all the teams. Like, there's some that have ridiculous losing records, and then there's others. That like the Eagles undefeated, but others that are close. That are Actually, really winning record. I just looked this up. Four and four in that division with uh, with the Eagles is the Commanders. Are four yeah, and yeah. four? But look at what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, they're at the bottom. Mm-hmm. They're just as worse. Yeah. They've got uh, problems. They got problems. And yeah. it's interesting. They have the old Philadelphia quarterback Wentz is uh, with the Commanders now. Yeah, he was he 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 come from the Phillies. Can you imagine originally, this? Originally, yeah. Originally. He it's was with the Phillies. Years, yeah. And look at what's happening. They got a, uh, going for a wreckage breaker, trying to say, but I, they have to, of course, win it. You know, they used to call him, back when he was on their good side, they used to call him Wensylvania. Wensylvania? When he was the quarterback for mm-hmm. Philadelphia, and they believed that he was going to work out to be a good quarterback. They called him that endearingly. I assume the name changed rather quickly. Oh, that was quickly when they say traded him. Uh, or when they got rid of him. That, that fastly gone yeah. down, to, I'd say, down to tubes before that happened. Yeah. So, yeah, now um, Philadelphia has the Alabama guy. What's his name? The The Philadelphia quarterback from Alabama? I can't think of it right now. What's I don't know. Miami has him. No, 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 no. It hurts. Jalen hurts. Is, oh, yeah, yeah, it hurts, hurts. Yeah, I knew that, so. Oh, wait. Did he come from it? Wait a minute. He was, he was from, so. Oklahoma. If, no, Oklahoma. I thought he was from Alabama. Oklahoma. He was from Oklahoma. Was he? The I other one, uh, Whatever. the one that's with the Dolphins now was yes. with Alabama. I, I, now, see, I thought. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Now, Jimmy, let, let me know what you remember of this. My recollection was that Hurts and Tua were quarterbacks in Alabama at the same time and they kind of switched from Hertz to Tua or am I thinking of somebody else is that how it worked Jimmy or is, is yeah. it somebody else do you know I don't really follow college football I'm sure I'm sure it was I thought that was Hertz and Tua and they switched Hertz. over to Tua after Hertz was their leading guy and then I forget if Hertz left or no, what no cuz Hertz went to he left I think 
He might have left. He might have left Alabama after yeah. he wasn't the starter anymore, and they switched That's to Tua. Right. Is that what happened? It might have been. I don't know. Who who's online that would uh, straighten this line out and give us a call, call on this in. line to know uh, uh, who call? We need one of those sports podcast Sportsman's people. Pro- they would know the to understand this question. We're just kind of like. Swinging in the wind here. I, I'm, we I'm think we know what we're talking about. I'm okay. losing. I thought it was uh, the other team, and he's thinking Alabama. Three one nine five two seven five zero one six or Charles Aracelli on Skype. You can call in tonight or any Sunday night when we're live on Aracelli dot com. Yeah. Yes, we're here. Who is the Zach Wilson? He said that he's a new quarterback that just came out of college. Who Who is he with? Is he I the Jets? He is, is he the Jets guy? <laughs> Yeah. Or am I off? Yeah, I was thinking. I know. I, I know it was a New York one. I didn't know if it, I figured. Yeah, you know, must be I, the Jets. I think because the Bills so. are doing real good. Oh yeah, yeah. Jets are doing good too. Actually, they're, they're not yeah, as they good as the Bills. Beat Miami, but... the first game. No, no. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Where did they play them? I don't remember. They, that. they played them here. They played in Miami, that. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's of, right. of course, I mean, Tua had that injury, horrible injury where he's, we don't know if he has brain damage from right. that or not, but it's highly likely. But he's back and he's playing well again. He's so that's back and really playing impressive. Well. Yeah, I think with him in there, I think they do better. He's I, doing really good. He's doing better now. He's doing and good. they're getting impressive. him to, uh, play pretty good. Thank. He was in this Detroit game, the one that you were with, Jimmy, your boys, and uh, they were playing him back and forth, back and forth, and come, come to closing in the second half, he came on and won it for them. Hey, Aaron, and, have, you, have you ever considered getting Uncle on one of these sports, like one of these sports-dedicated podcasts <laughs> and having him do yeah. picks? You know what we should do is we really had ought to invite as a guest a sports podcast host. I'm sure that we can finagle that. Right. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah, I would we, like maybe that. Maybe we ought to do that, Uncle. Like yeah, let's try that. Like a I guy that, try that. Yeah, like a guy that only talks sports. Like he wouldn't have a problem remembering where Tua came from or none of that because he's all no. on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah they would know it. all the answers. He, know, like, he knows I'd be right. He'd be Alabama. He and, knows it. And then you'd have – and then you could have Uncle – Give like picks of the week, which would be like awesome. Like, I mean, right now, right? The, the, the world yeah. series is tied one, one, right? We know who uncle's rooting for, but that doesn't mean that that means that he thinks that's who's going to win. So what's uncle's pick for the world series, right? And the sports podcaster guy, he can hold back his picks and like you could do a thing. You know what I mean? I, I, I think yeah. it'd be great. Yeah. I remember we were doing a sports segment for your show for a minute there, Chuck. Do you remember that? Yeah, that yeah. A little bit we put together. No, I love that. I, I wish I wish yeah. I could get you guys to go back to it, but then, you know, you guys were busy and this and that, and I don't know. Un- Uncle was, like, happy about doing it during the Olympics. Then, I don't know, something happened. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, we were deciding if that was me on the picture. I remember that. Yeah, I, I love doing segments like that. I love doing that stuff. But honestly, yeah, I don't have the time to do all that kind of stuff now. So well, if Where there's is, any angel yeah. donors out there, so to speak, that just want to dump money on us, you know, you can send me an email and maybe we can work something out. And you have all kinds of that kind of stuff all the time. I'd love yeah. it, man. I, I would insert the Uncle Sports Report. Like if we could keep it like a short Uncle Sports Report, I'd insert that into all the shows. <laughs> So, you know, you could be on every show. <laughs> I could do it, you know. No one's mentioning that. I was thinking of that. Yeah. I'm but, just saying. But, like I yeah. say, we just need one good reporter that's a sports guy. Mm-hmm. One out of the bunch that we can find. Right. That would want to do that. Would want to do that. I, I'm sure that we could get a sports podcaster as a guest, Uncle. That's so what I mean. I'll, I'll have to search around for... That's what I'm talking that about. For a guess. No, there's a lot yeah. of them. There, there, there's got to be a guy who would like just love the hell out of doing that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll have him on. What's we'll, Brian we'll search. Gumble's brother doing these days? Oh, Greg Gumble. Greg Gumble. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that would be awesome. Greg though. Gumble. I think he was playing. He was with the playoffs, doing the playoffs for the baseball. You could call I heard it, him on it. Yeah, you could call it Gumble the Uncle. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was on it. He was on the playoff. Not the World City, though. No, you guys heard but about that, he right? Was, the the show he that was, he was okay. pl- he was producing, I think the playoff. I don't know which side though. I think it was the uh, yeah. But the, the reason the I'm National. saying that is because uh, there was a, a pitch show called Gumble to Gumble that uh, mm-hmm. that uh, yeah. Seth MacFarlane pitched at one point, and then he then he turned around and parodied it on Family Guy. He pitched it to Fox. That like uh, Greg and Bryant Gumble were like you know a uh, uh, beach cops or something, and they called it Gumble to Gumble, and mm. so it'd be great if it was Gumble to Uncle. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, I'd be happy oh. talking. So this sidekick off the chair here. If I was doing a sports report with the guy, <laughs> you would know what happened. Yeah. What happened? You doing? Know, I'd be uh, be talking away at this guy. I could talk a lot of that sports stuff. Yeah. Yes. To the guy. Lots of sports to be talked about. But, uh, I'm surprised I know as much as I do. I can hear the phone ring. I can't hear the phone uh, ring. Phone the, uh, we still have Jimmy on the line. I know there Jimmy's has been a new call. Well, uh, no, no, wait. We dropped the call last hour, but it's only Jimmy so far. Uh, and with that, Jimmy, I. Uh, Anything else that you have to add, maybe on the yeah. sports front or anywhere else? Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. No, I can't think of anything. I think someone new should call in. Someone that's never called in before. Pick up your phone and call in the show. I want to hear a brand new boy. Mm, Come on. Boy. There's that a challenge. Very mm-hmm. good. We're sitting I here waiting so. on your phone calls, Chuck. Uh, I hear you. We love these guys. Yeah, right. oh. so you can Sunday, call. we're trying to talk and nobody's showing up on a very large well, Friday. What's going on here? In, in previous weeks, we've gotten a lot of callers, but this week, not as much. But it, it, we'll, they'll be back. They'll be back. I know that. Chuck, you're having some issues with the website. That might oh. have something to do with it. Yes. Oh, yes. I forgot about the website. That mm. might be part of it. Forgot I don't know. Website could be. So. Down. That could be. They'll be back. We'll, we'll get callers, I'm sure. Yeah. So. Sunday nights are good. They're working out. Sunday night's a good night. I have way more energy on Sunday. Friday, I, I can honestly, the Friday's past few that we've done... I've barely been able to feel like I could stay awake, to be honest, uh, we're all doing the show. So it's, I, I feel like the quality of the show is going to increase quite a bit by just doing it on Sunday nights. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. Well, yeah. been a little tired. No big deal. Just uh, one of those things. Uh, I like a bit Sunday myself. I mean, it's good it, it is a break in between of what I watch on shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can watch them on. And then by the time Sunday comes rolling around, I be ready to talk. Indeed. Let's see. I'm gonna see because we do. We are Who's going, in the chat room, by the way. We are live streaming the video as we usually do. I'm gonna see if I can get any numbers from that. Uh, it's not really giving me much for. Uh, the numbers aren't big there, but uh, probably. I mean, I've been finding that the YouTube videos. People go back to watch them after the live show, and we get quite a bit of uh, action there when people replay the YouTube videos. We've talked about this. But oh yeah, I had some. Uh, I'm on new f- on my phone now. It's going. I well. can get them. YouTube front is pretty YouTube good. Uncle. I can get on that now. Not bad, not bad. That's something I'd be good to do. Is more videos too. We haven't been doing as many videos as would be nice to mm. do. That would be good to do more of them. Yeah. What's up there, well, Chuck? What's going what's on? What's up there, Chuck? Ah, not much. You know, I'm just uh, taking a look at uh, people coming and going on the stream. Uh, got a handful of listeners in Houston, Texas, which is interesting. Little cluster. Um, I don't know what happened to those Seattle listeners. They were there the other week, and they're not there tonight. <laughs> but uh, a bunch of people listening in Houston on their phones. Looks like uh, iPhone, iPad. And an unknown device, and uh, mm-hmm. another one that's a phone. Yeah, okay, uh, phones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. That's creative accidents. 
That's one of them. Mu- town there, the town that he's in. So this um, one is one feeling them. much better. These. So, so, so you talking. you like the new headphones? Is that what you're saying, Uncle? Yeah, They're yeah. good. They're I, working out. It's not. Cool. I don't know what you're thinking it was. Well, you can was hear this? me just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I can. Yeah. Okay. I just can't hear the telephone rings. Uh, I, I think the sound effect was just quite low. Yeah, here, so here, take a listen to this. Let's see if you can hear it. Oh, yeah, I can hear that. Okay, yeah. So, so that you, wasn't up. That wasn't we're up. Good. We're good, Uncle. Because usually I can hear them. I got you. All right, well, we got it. So My that's good. Any calls coming Why ain't you calling? Now people mm-hmm. just got to call in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading this. 319-527-5016. Or Charles on Skype. That's, that's it. it. Call in. Did you have anybody? I had Jimmy. We have Jimmy here. Same yeah. caller. Two different shows. There you go. Yeah, have two. Yeah. Well, it's one, one tie. One, one tie, yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll see uh, how it goes. We're sitting here doing the tour. Oh, but I, Did I you want to talk if, about your TV show, Uncle? I know that you oh, oh. said something about that at the beginning, uh, uh, before we started. TV show was the uh, second of the um, Golden... Um, um, was that the Dragon Show or No, whatever? no. Not, not the, the Dragon, dragon show. show. It was the Sword the, Show. Uh, it was the uh, with the ring. Lord of the Ring? Lord of oh, the ring. he's that. Oh, I, I got was you. that. Lord He's watching two? the new, the new I one. I finished yeah. two. Okay, two of them. So now okay. there's the third one yet, and and I'll be watching all of them. No, I get okay. I, uh, oh, so I, he, he's watching that show that's the prequel one. to the Lord of the Rings and uh and and that right? Right, right. Yes. Okay. And uh, that was very, very. And the ending was very, very interesting. Is it good? And then started to on him. <laughs> Monsters coming at him. Chop, chop. Swords going at each other. Uh-huh. They are going into that. Okay. That show. Good. But well, that the, sounds but exciting. But the guy that was really was the guy that had the ring was the young fella with his friend. Oh, okay. So the 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 one ring are we talking about? Yeah, the one ring. Because there's several rings. There's like nine of them or something. This, this one goes, ring if I remember with right. The, with the guy, the young boy that he um was with the other guy that turned into a whiny, shiny thing. He became after he was fighting. This other guy. What one ring to rule them all, and in their darkness bind them? Right, Isn't right. that it? That's You're talking about that and one. And the eye, and the eye looked. Oh, it's he's already an eye. I thought oh, Sauron yeah, were, was like before he turns. One eye, and he's looking right up there. Mm. Is is the mm. eye? Is the eye like some sort of power of Sauron? Right, though? right, right. So so he's also like a humanoid being. In addition so, to an eye, something in this like that. Yeah, Doesn't but he it have, was just a plain eye. And what what I saw, it was it's a plain eye. He's only Look, an eye. But the plain eye there standing, at, um, at saying, then, uh, gonna be destroyed, <laughs> and be, uh, and he was saying that because him of the ring and all that. Yeah. the wings. And this I, is see, how I had thought that this prequel was gonna get into him when he is no longer just the eye. Well, that he might has be. like a body and all that. It might be on the third one. Oh, give him well, time. It's a series. You know, it's a series. It's a series. Yeah. Right, right, okay. right, yeah, right. I don't know. It's a series. Exactly, Chuck. I thought he became the eye later. I don't know. I, 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 I just, uh, I've read the books. I've seen the You read these movies. books. Books don't tell you nothing. You have to see it on the film. You got to see it on the TV. Yes. I mean, yes, that you shows you what these books tell you is imagine it. You're imagining things in your mind when you read the yeah, books. Well, Tolkien never made these books, as far as I know. They made, but, I mean, The Hobbit was the closest thing to a Hobbit. prequel to Lord of the Rings that you get with the yeah, books. Yeah, that was the. Uh, there's The Hobbit, then there's the, the Lord of the Rings yeah, trilogy. Is trilogy. that right? Am I, are there other books that I'm, I don't know about? I, I think there are some other books, but the thing is, he built this whole history. If you notice in the Lord of the Rings, like even if you just watch the movies, they start taking these little historical journeys, right? Where they tell you about, okay, in, in the time, uh, at this time, you know, the rings were forged and all that. He gives brief histories 
Uh, so what they did is they took some of those brief histories, from my understanding, and expanded it into this script so that now it's not just this, like, you know, oh, we're going to tell you about the king that came before, you know. Uh, like when, when the king actually takes the throne again after the sword is redone and all that. Well, there's the whole thing with his father, right? Who was fighting before that. And so they go back into that, but it's only mentioned in Tolkien's books as like an aside. Like, here's the history real quick. So this is meant to elaborate on some of that history. Uh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, that yeah. much I know. But I mean, yeah. but as far as like the particulars of it, forget it, man. I don't know any of it except that the elves. Some of the elves are still alive from, yeah. you know, hundreds of years before you see the movie because they live a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they, they were they always were like that. Too. I thought the elves were even immortal. No, they were. That was in my this memory too. that they were yeah. at least potentially immortal beings. They were so, until yeah. something happened, and then you know, and that's when they take that that uh, that journey to another place where they have to leave, and you know, mm. so that's the whole thing. And then, but but that's my point is that there's all these histories, and su- supposedly this series is going to show you those histories. Well, okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's and the so same thing like they're that. doing with all the intellectual property these days and making the. Yeah. If not, I bet you haven't saw but the one, one, right? I don't think you. Well, no, I haven't seen any of the series. Of the series. No, I haven't seen any of it. I, I haven't no, seen. No, any I, I'm just again what you're I telling me. Uncle. I don't know I about. I thought you saw some. I haven't seen the series at all. I've seen the I original think movies. Wife did though. She's been talking about. Maybe it. she may have seen it. I yeah. I haven't watched it. No, I. You know what's really fun, funny to watch? I don't know if Uncle ever saw him. Did you ever see the, the original movie series of The Lord of the Rings, the cartoons? Oh, the animated oh, no, one? No. Yeah. I don't think, I've no, only I seen haven't. minutes. I haven't seen I the whole thing. I can tell you, no. <laughs> no. Uncle, I... you, you should watch those. Cause I think you would get quite a kick out of The Lord, and it's much shorter than the, <laughs> than the new movies. I mean, new movies are what? You know, in, in their, like, most stripped down form are what? Six hours, six and a half hours? At least that. You know. Yeah. So these things were done in like an hour and ten, I think. The, these cartoons, <laughs> and right. and uh, so you got like three and a half hours of like, and it's funny because two of them are in the same animation style, and then like the third one completely changes animation styles, oh. which oh, yeah. is really I funny. Know. It's yeah. like I know, but uh, and and they also did a Hobbit uh in in that too. So you got all yes. three of the movies plus the Hobbit. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know of those. I don't think I've ever really seen them. I've I've seen bits and pieces. That's it. Oh, it's no, so funny. See, it's so funny. You gotta to see. see the comic ones. You mm. gotta see the comic. Yeah, it's that. unintentional. Well, I heard of some audio. Remember what? Stargate, the film. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, the it starred the uh, Richard Dean Anderson who plays MacGyver <laughs> was in the movie, right? Oh, oh it's no, a one. That's the TV show. That's, yeah, that's no, no. He I'm wasn't in the movie? Up. Hold on. Hold on. In 1990, no, he wasn't. In 1990, Kurt Russell played the character of Colonel O'Neill or whatever. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's it's right. A whole different movie. That's it's right. 1994 movie. And then there was a gap, and then there was a show called Stargate SG-1. Awesome show. Uh-huh. But before that, there was these books. And I have these audio books. They're based on the off of the Stargate movie, and they're just a completely different universe and stuff than the SG One story went. It's just a completely different story. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Kurt Russell was the movie. I did see that movie. I think in the theater when it came out. I think I saw it. You know, it's just like anything else. So, like you were saying about the intellectual properties. I mean, you know, now we got, uh, you know, uh, the Mandalorian, Obi Wan Kenobi. I mean, you know, uh, all these different things that have now grown out of the Star Wars universe. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, and that too. You get that. Same thing with Lord of the Rings. Clone yeah, Wars is anime. I mean, it's just you know, as many of them as uh, as many of them as you'll buy, they'll make them. You know. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. It's just something different about to watch. Story. Yeah. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks, uh, Jar Jar. the origin story of him. Yeah, oh, we God. need that. We need that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. But what just does this this ring to a to a person, a man? It takes over his mind. It corrupts. It corrupts it. And this, and this, every time somebody has it or look, even look at it. Mm. They think of that. Yeah. You know? 
It's a it's a cool. Yeah. I I like and the that's concept that's of the ring of power and the corruption. That yeah, that's that that, that's it's, how it's cool. it works like, with yeah, this yeah. ring. Yeah, it's it's real good in in the books for sure. Yeah, uh, Count Popper is saying yeah. milk the cow dry. <laughs> that's what beginning. they do. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Um, yeah. I, I'm willing to give the series a shot, I suppose. I just, again, I have to get around to watching it, so maybe I'll do that and I'll, I'll see, Uncle. But in the meantime, I think it's good that you're watching it and you're reporting in to us. Yeah, I'm just saying to there. see that. So I, I'm just watching that because part the, of the other one that I was watching isn't out yet of the, of the, uh, dragon. Oh, the Dragon Show, yeah. Dragon yes. Show isn't Dragon out. Show Number isn't three out. So isn't out yet. That's what we're doing. That's Dragon why I'm rings. I'm going back to it. See, oh, I, oh, I, see. I like to Lord watch Lord. a show. I say, well, when the, what can I watch now that I've seen this one? And I'm, and go, your wife said, go to see the rings. You know what the oh. test of success for the Lord of the Rings series is, Uncle? Is if Peter Thiel opens up a new business and names the business after one of the characters exclusively from this Lord of the Rings series, you know it's uh, succeeded. That's that's the telltale sign of it. Well, um, that he's always liked that little guy for some reason. <laughs> he liked that little guy. Is that about the hobbits? Is that what the you mean? hobbits? Okay, yeah, he yeah. always <laughs> liked the hobbit guy. And, Who doesn't like and that? And this little hobbit guy, he started with the wing because he had it last. Frodo. Frodo. Or, or Bilbo from The Hobbit. Because Bilbo is the original Hobbit from The Hobbit that who has is, the ring. Who is the one? And then later it's Frodo. Who is the one? That, also a Hobbit. It must have been Hobbit then. It was Hobbit then that had the ring in the beginning of <laughs> do, 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 you, do, do you know? Do you know what we're talking about here, Jimmy? Are you following Jimmy, you this? know what I'm talking about? Schmeagol. <laughs> Schmeagol. Gollum. Gollum. Yeah, Gollum. also, he was a hobbit, too. Was, was that uh, his name? Yeah, Gollum. Gollum. Mm-hmm. Uh, he mentioned the name in the in the movie. I like, I lost track of the name, but the the, the yeah, guy that's, that's little. Gollum's, he, yeah, he, his hobbit name is Schmeagol. Schmeagol. So when he was a hobbit, Schmeagol, he acquired the ring. Right. Then it inevitably corrupted him, and he becomes a character Gollum living in the cave. Right, right. That was it. That's that was it. That yeah. must have been it. That famously been it. famously portrayed by Andy Serkis, but uh, you know, previous to that, that cartoon one I was telling you about, it's so funny because Gollum is like a, a, like a lizard. <laughs> in that one, it's like, he's not oh. even like a humanoid. It's really weird. Interesting. Yeah. He turned him into a lizard. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, um, hmm. Yeah, I might have to go back to watch that one of these days too. The old animated ones. Let's well, see if we can find. Yeah, go back and watch these movies. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm only like you're saying, waiting until that one comes back. Uh, the original, what I was watching, but I'm keeping busy with that. Yeah, uh, with a show. So, uh-huh. so I, I imagine you're not going to watch the Jeffrey Aren't Dahmer you? series on Netflix then. <laughs> Oh gosh! I you know what I, the the sandwich artist at the Yucca Valley uh, Subway recommended that, and he was very excited about it. But I don't think I'm gonna end up watching that. What what is that? The Jeffrey Dahmer so strange. What, what dra- drama? Dramatization? What, what, well, what do we a, call that? Yeah, it's a dramatization for sure. Uh, but there, there's other parts to it too, where they go into interviews with people, and it's it's a it's a mishmash of stuff, but. It's mainly the dramatization of like what happened. Uh, got got some serious flaws in it, <laughs> but uh, and and I I have watched it, but uh, I'll tell you I I think it is only for a particular type of person that really enjoys it, even though it's super popular right now. Um, you know, anyway, I'm I'm probably gonna do a show on it. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing about that series is that for the younger generation, this is the first time they've ever really heard of Jeffrey Dahmer. So they're being introduced to him yeah. through the series. Yeah, it's a it's, shocker to some people that well, run around. Well, what they would yeah, do is like watch the show. People that, that haven't heard of him, just watch the show, see what they get out of him. And then learn all about it. They can come back and review it. 
Good. You could do it. If they want it. Do a review of the show, everybody. We recommend it. But you have to watch the show. You have to. You have to watch the whole show. Not just little pieces either. Whole show. Sidekick. I can't. Little pieces. Really? You gotta go through the whole show. Okay. Like Top Gun. I seen a movie that's like that. a shocker because I had no idea it existed. Turns mm-hmm. out that there was a Tales from the Crypt from like 1970, starring uh, that Pleasance guy from Hall- from Halloween. Yeah, Donald Pleasance. Michael. Keeper. Michael. No, Donald Donald Pleasance, the guy who plays uh, Doctor Loomis on a uh, uh, Halloween on the Halloween series. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you got a new, new original, Michael coming out. The original Crypt Keeper wasn't a, a weird skeleton dude. He was like a Catholic priest that was killed in England during the switch over there during Henry VIII. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. It sounds but more it's interesting. Same kind yeah. of. Uh, it's kind of he he would tell like three stories. It's kind of in the same style as the newer one. Oh. Yeah, um, nineteen seventy two British anthology movie is uh, is how it's described. Got it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I I I didn't know that movie either. That's interesting. It sounds like it'd be worth going back to watch. Some of these, uh, I just go back to watch some of these movies because uh, they make me uh, watch shows and I have seen them before. A lot of media out there to find these days. Uh, so much so. to dig through. The old stuff, the new yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm only using a little TV in the... Uh, Here's a weird name from the past, too. I'm just looking it up. Joan Collins was in that movie, if you can believe that. Joan Collins, yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Must have been so young I didn't even recognize her. Probably. I mean, 1972, that's the year I was born. That's a 50-year-old movie, man. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I have to oh. check that one out. Uh, I know that I just got a message, Uncle, from Creative Accents. He wants a update on the mailbox. Do you have any new information on that? Our mailbox? Oh, our mailbox. Is it okay? It's all cleaned up and ready to use mail. We got mail back. Got mail back, and now now we've been able to get it. Yep. So, um, uh, and and more accidents. on mail theft. Uh, when um, I think it was my wife. Were you with her the day that she went to go get our mail at the post office? And when she was there picking up the mail, somebody came in from outside. Oh no! Carrying. No. A, were you there for this, Uncle? Nana was. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, somebody came in from outside with a whole st- bunch of mail in their hands, and they gave it to the clerks. They're like, here, here, this is mail. Somebody was just pulling this out of the mailbox, stealing yeah. it in broad daylight. They're like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm bringing it back into you now. But they were out there stealing it from your box out front. So there's more mail theft in Riverside for you. There's a lot of it going on these days. Well, it's That's just weird. not here. It's all over the place. It's Well, it's definitely here in town, all over town. Oh, it's in front of the post we, office. Now that we have the mailbox straightened out, mm-hmm. we can send some up to him. Yes, See, we cards. can. We can do. Yes, well, we give me your cards, truck. We'll yeah, now okay. It, now that we got that organized. Well, good, because I'll tell you what. First of all, I need the cards. But second, you know what's strange to me is you got all this mail theft in Riverside. I live in a city where people are getting shot every day, just about. Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's, boy. there's armed robberies, you know, within a couple of blocks of me every day. <laughs> and nobody's stealing mail here. <laughs> nobody's they stealing the mail. They want to kill a person. They're, they're, they're robbing stores, shooting each other, uh, you know, but nobody's stealing the mail. <laughs> I don't know yeah, they got to get with the times, Chuck. It's all about <laughs> yeah. identity theft now. They're going, uh, they're, they're going, working too hard. Working uh, my, my smarter, city's not harder school. criminals is what, uh, I guess, uh, the credo okay. out here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I mean, look, you know, I guess it's more old school where I'm at. I, I don't know. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's old school. Yeah, the, all the burglaries or robberies, murder, all that wonderful violent yeah. crime. Where I guarantee you more dogs get stolen uh, here than, than mail any day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People steal There's the dogs. There's a lot of missing dogs here. We get a lot it of happens. Missing dogs. It happens, yeah. 
there, that does happen. I don't know what the mail thing is, but it is widespread here. I, I know that much. Um, One of my neighbors not too long ago, somebody robbed their house and stole their dogs too. And just like <laughs> cleaned out all their stuff and the dogs. Oh, you know, Crazy. like three dogs. <laughs> Uh, Big gosh. huge dogs. Uh, okay, but yeah, no, I, no mail theft. They wouldn't get me or our dog. I tell you, you'd be barking out them down the street. You know what media is lacking in today's media ecosystem is those crime shows they used to play, where they show like America's dumbest criminals or whatever, and then that narrator guy gets on there and says how stupid they are. Like these idiotic criminals are so stupid, they're stealing dogs, and now they're stealing mail. Good thing the cops showed up to throw them behind bars. Remember those shows? Oh yeah. No, they still have them. them. They still have them. They, they do? Them, yeah, so. they still oh, have those. Yeah, yeah. Those. It's, they it, have those? They yeah. still play, you yeah, know, like they're... Caught on Tape. They they still play a, a show called Caught on Tape, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, I know I just saw one the other day. Oh. Uh, this utter moron is endangering yeah. the lives of the public. It's good that our law enforcement is here to beat him up and throw him away. Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, what was that? John Walsh was his name? The, the guy who did America's I, uh, Most Wanted? America's, yeah, I think it was him narrating. Like, yeah, he, yeah. he's the guy who, who created that whole style uh, of like, <laughs> and these fools, look, they drive down a one way street and they, he had yeah, a delivery. Think, uh, he had yep. a style. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really knew how to lay into those criminals. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, kind of, but, uh, whatever. Better uh, luck next time, Sunday driver. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's making wisecracks all the time, yeah. (laughs) I believe they might have gotten the same guy to narrate those when animals attack. I remember similar similar narration style if it wasn't actually him. I can't remember for sure. This, yeah, that that guy was hilarious too. These bears are not trying to find out whose porridge is too hot or cold. They're going (laughs) to share the hiker. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. What in the world is this? (laughs) It's uh, too hot. Too warm. Classic TV, Uncle. That's what that uh, is. Definitely. Um, how much time do we have, Chuck? Are we done? Is this it? Uh, no, you got about uh, you got about four or five minutes because uh, we we started just a touch late. So yeah, you got about four or five minutes left. I was just okay, about cool. To tell we you. can talk more about when animals attack. Part eight. That's good. Cool. Well, we're going to need this time to do that, Uncle. Do you remember those shows? Part eight. No. Uh. The only thing I do remember is one show, The Outdoors. A show I or a movie? I still got a kick out of that show. You're talking about The Great Outdoors, the movie? Yeah, yeah. John Candy, John Dan Candy. Aykroyd. They go with the idiot, and the guy's going to rip the guy, shot the ball off the guys with the um, with the bear, and he was running <laughs> like a human butt. I still... Can't get over this. Yeah, that's a funny movie. That it's, one there, gotta be. That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah gotta be laughing. Spoil- I mean, just- Spoiler alert! You're telling me your favorite part is where he picks up the lamp and he shoots him with the working sh- shotgun lamp or the working <laughs> rifle lamp and blows the uh, fur off of the bear's backside, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was very funny. I did you see that. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they, I know it was funny. I they have the uh, the raccoons <laughs> outside that have I the subtitles. Yeah. Yep. This he's going on not. Huh? Yeah, actually run away. Yep. Yeah, the great actors. Yeah, there's a lot of good scenes from that movie. And John Candy, classic. Uh, mm-hmm. Man, he passed he many years ago. Really do a good ago. Of that. His yeah, classic movies still. Uh, I think that those are the movies that I believe still people watch. I think even the younger yeah. generation finds them and enjoys them. Definitely timeless uh, comedy there. Yeah, that's one of those classic '80s, you know, like Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and you know. Oh, and, of, and then blew the house up on the Christmas lights. That's another one. Well, yeah, that's Christmas, Christmas vacation. vacation. Yeah, Christmas vacation yeah. going up the step. Oh, they turn the light on. Turn the light on. <laughs> what happened here? The phone thing's burned down. Everything's going down. <laughs> oh, yeah, the cat, the cat gets burned up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, right now, cat, you got burned up. Yeah. 
Yeah, that falls into that category of movie too. I would say those classic comedies that mm-hmm. still get play. Yeah, the National Lampoon's, uh, the whole series, the, the European Vacation. The kids change every movie. But, yeah, you know, yeah, that's always a little bit weird. It's the same <laughs> Chevy Chase and his wife. They're the same, but then the kids are always changing. Be- yeah. Beverly DeAngelis and Chevy Chase, right? DeAngelis yeah, was yeah. her name, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. They yeah. remain steady. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are good. Those are fun. Ooh. Um, but let's see here. Uh, now we are about there. Uh, Jimmy, is there anything that you want to say or any shout outs before we go? Uh, uh Jimmy, before we I close the know. show out? Oh, I guess rest in peace, Jerry Lee Lewis. Lewis, what happened? Oh, I was waiting for somebody to bring this up. Yeah, Jerry Lee Lewis died just, uh, what, yesterday? Gosh, it just happened? Yeah. Hmm. I did not hear of that. I did not hear that. Yep, the the killer is finally uh, gone. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, not many of them early rock and roll guys left. So. Oh, you. I'm surprised. I thought that he was already dead, dead, honestly. No, just, yeah, just uh, either yesterday or the day before. I forget when they announced I think they announced it Saturday morning. Oh. That was when we were at Atlantis, and we didn't hear it. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, we were out of the news. news. That's your media news. media blackout at the UFO cult compound. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, how it is out there. Yeah, that was fun. All right, well, thanks for calling, Jimmy. Thank you, Colin. Uh, unfortunate Jimmy. news, but yeah, thanks for calling. We'll talk to you uh, soon, I'm sure. Take sure, care, we'll man. Talk to you soon. But... Yeah, you, Jerry Lee Lewis. I, I'm I'm surprised, Uncle. Did <laughs> Uncle, you didn't know about that? I had no idea. Wow. Uh, I've heard of other people when I'm here listening to people, but I haven't heard of him. Jerry yeah. oh, Lewis. He was the one. Great balls of fire. Balls of fire. Did he do the uh, for the uh, for that for the kids? No, no, he no, 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 one. no, 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 not not Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis, the guy oh. who did a uh, whole lot of shaking going on. Yeah. Oh, played him. the piano. He oh, played the, the piano. piano guy. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of. You were thinking you Jerry know, Jerry you know Lewis. Song, yeah, I know the song. He was thinking uh, Jerry Lewis, the telethon guy, the co- comedian. You know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, not Jerry say. Lewis of uh, yeah, Buddy with the Rat Pack and all that. Mm-hmm. No, this is Jerry Lee Lewis, Great Balls of Fire. Again, mm-hmm. the most famous song, probably. Oh. Jimmy Swaggart's cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of things going on with him. Yeah. Interesting life, to say the least. But yeah, Uncle, I think we're out of time here. So. Okay. Well. I think we're out of time now. That's Psychic okay. says. Yeah. I don't know where the time clocks are. It went away. House. That's what happened. Uh, well. At Uncle Podcast, Instagram, Twitter, unclethepodcast.com. Uncle, bring us on home here. There's our show. 279 is in the books. Bye-bye.